Hello everyone. So I've been somewhat disturbed by some of the conversation that I personally have had with a couple of people that are talking about how they are just absolutely sure that Assad was the one to do these latest chemical attacks and they're going along with the mainstream narrative of uh, the chlorine attacks and of course Assad did it and oh yes well we need to be in Syria because if we're not there well there's going to be a vacuum and of course America you know we're the only truly just country on the face of the planet and everyone else basically you know would be evil and corrupt and bad stuff would happen uh, so we need to be there now this video is for Christians in particular and everyone else too in general but Christians in particular I want you all to do some thinking and I want you to think about um, the conditions that Christians were under in that region of the planet uh, before we've gone in and toppled all these nations and put in radical regimes after that um, whether we're talking Libya with Gaddafi and um, oh I, I can't remember the Egyptian president now or who, whatever he is but you know you guys the Christian population has suffered after every regime change that we have engaged in since 9-11 and so I want you all to think about right after once again this fits the pattern here right after Trump says we need to get out of Syria we're gonna let everybody else do it what is it two three days later oh no there's a chemical attack and we need to be there and have troops and the whole bit well check it out Assad did well by the Christians and you know maybe Assad was a closet Christian because I just want you all to do a simple search here okay you can go to start page or you can go to we'll even use Google and I've already done this several times as you can see here I'm gonna go through some things fairly quickly after this but here we go just put in Assad saves Christians what's the first one that pops up anti Assad you are supporting the murder of Christians now I'm gonna take you through some of these just to show you how easy this is okay a matter of fact I'm even gonna go back and you know what then I'm gonna go to start page which will give me the same results because start page actually uses Google but supposedly they don't track you and there's a, another layer so there we go right comes up real easy here's another one we're gonna go to duck duck go another search engine here and so I'm just gonna click on the first story here um, one that I have not found actually in this search and I know it's out there uh, one of our congressmen actually wrote Assad a letter thanking him um, <laughs> anyway so look well and I think there's a this story I seen this picture here so anyway Syria's Bashar Assad visits recaptured notice recaptured Christian village on Easter so you know he's supporting it 
Now I say closet Christian because in that section of the world, <laughs> over there in that section of the planet, you're not real popular when you're a Christian, right? So here, this, okay, well this is 2014. Now I'm just going to go through some of these here. And I'm going to start with this. This was at the end. It's September 16th of 2011. So see, way back then they're talking about post-Assad. Get him out of there. You know why? Because he actually was inclusive and the Christians were okay. You know? So listen to this. When I asked a Greek a Greek Orthodox Christian Syrian man in Bob Toma, Damascus, if he agreed with Bashar al-Assad's socio-political policies, he responded that he did not support Assad's oppressive security apparatus, but under his rule he and his family were able to freely attend church mass each Sunday and celebrate Christian holidays like Christmas each year. He followed up by saying that he had no assurance that any other sect in Syria would protect the Syrian Christian community. And we can go on, but I mean, listen to that, Christians. Here we go. September 27, 2011. Fearing change. Many Christians in Syria back Assad. Oh, but we're sure that Assad gassed his people, right? Here we go. April 16th, 2017. This is last year. And this, Haaretz, is actually a Jewish, uh, well, I don't know if it's Jewish, but it's, it's an Israeli paper here. Whoever fights Assad wants to remove Christianity from the Middle East and the hands of those who support Saudi Arabia or Qatar are covered, or cutter, however you say that, are covered with the blood of Coptic worshipers. That's Christians, folks. Whether or not you agree with everything they believe, they do believe in Jesus Christ, and they call themselves Christians, and they're being persecuted to the utmost, and being slaughtered, quite literally, all across that region. Yet here, they're obviously they know something a little more I guess than we do over here in America while we're so easily duped by CBS ABC NBC Fox CNN they're all the same and they all say PBS what why did Assad Saddam and Mubarak protect Christians? Could it have maybe have been that even though these people were supposedly these rotten just to the core people that uh, they were terrible but they actually protected Christians? What in the world are you talking about? What? Could it possibly be that our media actually does distort everything like we know they do and they don't like Christians? And like these people over there, these leaders that once actually were inclusive and let, you know, Christians and other sects as well. And when they say other sects, they mean, and not sex, S-E-X, but sect s e c t s they're talking about other than muslim is what they're talking about because we know what's going on i don't even need to say it and this is back let's see what when what when is this story again oh, here another one 2011 and like i said back in 2011 PBS was claiming this right anyhow look Syrian Christians look to Assad 
things to know about Syrian president. He protects the Christians. Oh, even Rand.